No Direction Home is the informal Soho Directors community. Find us at nodirectionhome.com. I'd started talking to Michael about it and yeah. I said uh, it was a Western and, you know, I had him as a lead character and um, I started writing it, yeah. Cool. Um, I realised shortly after um, thinking I'm going to write a Western, I would go to film four and they'd say, um, we don't really, can you write a feature film? And I, I was like, well, maybe not. And they said, well, do you want to work with writers? So I said, okay, I'll try that. And I'd meet a writer in a, a cafe and they'd either want to take the project away and say, right, I'll come back with stuff. And I was like, no, I think, you know, that didn't sound right. And yeah, I didn't think I could do it on my own. And it was a really weird period of not knowing what to do. And then I talked to a few directors at a Screen International thing and two different people mentioned Kate Lee's the script editor. So. Um, I met up with Kate and we just got on really well and um, I didn't even know the script editor existed so um, I think we it was a perfect match because I was kind of full of ideas and she doesn't write right yet I didn't know how to physically get to the point of first draft or structure or you know or you know, so um, we started a process that ended up being fruitful, and yeah. I'm doing it again now with my next script with Kate. Yeah. Um, so that was a a really good. Yeah, fantastic. And so at this point, the shorts going around, and you're saying it's not getting many festivals. It didn't for ages, and then um, I think it got Tribeca and then London. Yeah. Again. Philip Bilson turned it down for London. <laughs> um, but the other guy, Simon, <coughs> Simon put it yeah. in London. Um, yeah, I was getting a mixed thing. You know, I didn't get into Claremont Ferran or I didn't get into um, some of the other festivals. And I was a bit confused because I thought it was really good. But um, then it won the BAFTA. So. Yeah. Um, but by then, I think I'd already... I was well on the way with the feature, I think. So it felt that I wasn't really following it around or having to sell it. Yeah, so it's kind of just a bonus for you to be yeah, yeah. turning up at the BAFTAs. And... Yeah, my agent told me a really good thing. He said that if you, if you make a short film and you want to make another short film, then go around all the short film festivals. But if you want to make a feature, then don't bother because you're not going to meet anybody <coughs> in the feature film world at short film festivals. And I think, he, I, I, I think he's right. Yeah. And it is money and time, so um, yeah. Yeah. So did it uh, materially change anything for you winning a BAFTA? Um, the people that were working with me already, like Film Four and Michael, and you know, had that seal of approval or their risk verified. Yeah. So you know, it probably helped to that extent, but it didn't. It brought, you know, anyone knew that it brought, it brought, it wasn't really either needed or it felt a bit weird. I think someone, people started emailing me and saying, can you put your name to directing my film? You don't have to do anything, you know. I just need your name for funding to put it on the form or something, you know, and I was like, you know, so weird stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so how long did it take to write Slow West? Uh, about... Between one and two years, yeah. because the writing process isn't, for me, sitting with a computer. It's a lot more, you know, even now I've spent about a year writing my new script. I haven't opened Final Cut yet, Final Draft yet. So it's about watching films. I mean, I watched every Western. I watched millions of films that weren't Westerns that influenced the West. I watched, I read books written at the time of the West. I read, like, everything from Little House in the Prairie to Mark Twain to Nathaniel Hawthorne. Um, so mega sort of research and um, mixed with sort of just cycling around. And I find it very hard to sit and write at a computer. So kind of sometimes ideas just come of the, you know, I, I think 
I started doing this thing that was quite productive, which I would pick a satellite kind of tube station and I'd go there and I'd go charity shopping and look through records and then get the tube back. And that was, I got a lot of Slow West doing that. Something to do with going somewhere with a purpose yeah. and doing something that's half meaningful but half mindless that uh, I find creative. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and um, <clears throat> so, oh God, my brain's gone. I had had a question and it's gone. What is it about that process away. that kind of sparks something creatively in you? I think it's... Is that kind of half falling it's, asleep it's, and your brain makes connection? A bit of that, you know, I find, you know, something like the morning shower, you know, without... Was it during the commute? Um, I think it's... I mean, I got a huge bit of writing done recently on the Eurostar train to Amsterdam and um, I told Kate about it and she was like, yeah, I often speak to people all that. And it's something to do with the forward propulsion that means you're thinking forward or something. You know, I don't know, but it's something to do with going in a direction. Your script starts going so you in, in a direction. Writing, you weren't just... Oh, that something on your phone. Well, usually uh, there'll be notes on my phone, or I'll start reading, and then and then it'll there'll be a line in a book that sparks something, or something I'd written earlier on my phone, and then I'd start doing a word document, and then suddenly the word document grow and grow, and suddenly I've got five pages on the word document. How do you marshal that research then? Um, I think any line, any. I mean, at the moment, I mean, on the way here, I just read what Katie did, which is like a children's book, but I find, um, and then there's stuff in lots of children's books that I think is really useful because they're the simple storytelling and they're, and some of them are really, I don't know what it is about them, but it was like Little House in the Prairie for Slow West. It's just so direct. Um, and then I just write in the, in the book, you know, when, and then it, the and then when I finish the book, I transfer all the notes to Word. Do you get some old looks from yourself? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, like writing really detailed notes. Yeah, about what Katie did. <laughs> yeah. No Direction Home is the informal Soho Directors Community. Find us at nodirectionhome.com. <laughs>